hi guys welcome to today's episode of our technical drawing series um in our today's episode we'll be drawing a square and different polygons to a given base now as you know that we have polygons like octagon heptagon hexagon and pentagon and so on and so forth so we'll be drawing most of these polygons in a given bin in a given plane like a given plane line so come on let's go draw okay now um we'll start by drawing our straight line now we have been giving let's say let's assume that the base of our polygons will be equals to let's say 4 cm 4 cm which is same thing as 40 millimeter okay so this is our dimension that we'll be giving now the first thing for us to do is to get our ruler and draw a line 4 cm you can put your drawing towards the center okay just draw a line 4 cm okay and then with this armature rule I measure out 4 cm or 40 millimeters they're all the same thing so it starts here and it ends here so this line is 40 cm 40 millimeters sorry now with this line we construct a square on this line construct a square okay now there are different ways we can construct this square but I'll, to shorten the long processes we will just construct the square using a protector protector or whatever they call it okay so this is 90 this is 90. For those of you that don't know how to construct a square, I have more YouTube videos on how you can learn how to construct a square. You can just watch them. Okay. So, um, with this, just draw the front line. And then, measure out 40. Remember here is 40. Squares, all parts are equal. So, mark out 40. Eliminate here, okay. Here to do the same thing. Do it straight and then we mark out 40. Okay, so we join. Okay, so having done that, we also divide this baseline into two equal parts. Now, what do I mean? This is 40, right? 40 divided by 2, that's to give you 20. So mark 20 and then we mark 20 up here too. Okay, and then we'll draw a very straight line, a straight and very long line. So we'll cut the line up as much as you want to carry the line, that's your choice. Okay, so we have done this. And next thing for us to do is to draw a diagonal on this same square. Now, watch me. Okay, now we we'll call this part. Okay, so we call it point four. Okay, take note. Now with our compass, with our compass, we pivot or we put this at this point. Okay, extend it to this point, and then draw an arc to stop here. Okay, so that I did. Okay, so I did this, and then from here to also do the same thing okay so having done that we'll call this part our point six now we have point six and point four let's get our point five now we can actually measure but the key point is just to divide this part into two equal parts now watch this is 14 this is 10 11 12 13 14 so this is 14 millimeter so the 14 divided by 2 that divided into two equal parts to give you 7 so 7 should be right about here okay so this point you call here point 5 okay now watch this you can actually use your divider or um your compass but i'll be using, your, I'll be using a compass in this regard you can just you can actually use your ruler to map out 7 cm upward but uh, that's a long process so with my compass 
so um we do this okay we measure these two points can you see me okay so we do equal we cut out equal points or equal max with that same radius do not shake it just keep going that way and keep going and keep going until you are there okay so we have these points we have these points we have here we have here we have here and so on so this is six this is seven this is eight this is nine this is ten now why do we need all these points these points are kind of they are the way um it's like it's to be a guideline this five now from this point we'll draw an a pentagon a pentagon has five sides so also draw a hexagon heptagon octagon nonagon, and a decagon and so on and so forth now let's start our drawing now the first thing again so the next thing that we will need to do is to get hold of our compass and we draw circles from these points now watch i pivot at point five elongate it to this point here all right and then i draw a circle now before you do this ensure that you put something under your drawing paper so that to avoid your compass slipping now i draw a circle okay i draw a circle now after doing this circle with your compass to pivot at this point measure back this line this base okay and then cut out equal proportions on this circle okay so we join all these points we join them okay so i've joined all my points and it gave me a pentagon it has one two three four five sides remember we pivoted at point five drew the circle and then mark at equal proportions of this 40 cm on the same circle giving us five um five points joining the points gave us this pentagon now i'll do the same thing at point six now um what is it? at this point we'll do for point six but let me ask you something if point five gave us a pentagon point six will give us what a hexagon okay so give us a hexagon so please let's draw the hexagon the same process pivot at point six draw a circle to this point here draw the circle okay after drawing this circle we also measure here And then mark out equal proportions to do the same thing here too. Okay, now you've seen it. So we have this point, this point, this point, this point, and then we join them too. We just do that okay all right so we have joined all our points and we have gotten the hexagon okay so I've done that for six so we also progress to that for seven same process pivot at point seven draw the circle and then mark at equal proportion using that 40 cm okay so we'll do the same thing Please, if this um, video is helpful for you, please don't forget to leave a like, like our videos, and then subscribe to our channel, okay? The essence of subscribing is, is just so that when we drop any new video, you'll be the first to get, to get notified, and then you can watch our videos too, because it will also help you academically. Now, those um, for those of you viewing me from schools or universities, 
please this is also very important most lecturers love setting these questions for um, school exams so please also follow up my videos it will really help you a lot at least i can guarantee you that you will come out well in your technical drawing or fake as some school do call it you come out well in your test and your exams so all the same please just um subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed and then like you can also drop a comment and then share my videos for those of my lovely viewers that have subscribed thank you so so much you have really been amazing and those of you that yet to subscribe please you're really missing a lot please subscribe all right so we've done that for this okay now um we've gotten this our heptagon okay it has seven sides one two three four five six seven okay so we have seven parts so this is for heptagon remember we put it at point seven and did this now i will do the last one um the octagon at point eight but if it's your own test you can carry on and do for other other um, polygons like decagon, monagon, as the case may be, but I'll stop at um, octagon. Okay, so let's proceed. Last not the least for today's episode number eight. Okay, so we'll do the same thing as usual our circle and this. All right, so we have done that for the octagon, and this is our diagram. This is how our drawing looks like. So guys, this is it. This is our drawing. We have successfully gotten different polygons, but with the same base, okay? They're all having the same base. We have octagon, heptagon, hexagon, pentagon, and the square all on the same base well um i guess you love this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos okay so um i hope you loved that video that was wonderful drawing polygons all to one plane it's kind of logical magically <laughs> whatever but um the main point is Please, if you love this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my videos, drop comments so for me to know how where you love the videos and then how we can help you more in academics. Please, those of you watching from schools like Uniport, UST, or schools in Nigeria, or even outside Nigeria, please follow my YouTube channel. It will help you in preparing for your tests and exams. Thank you once more for watching this video. Subscribe, share, and have a nice day.